Uh, number one on the Roper Report, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 2 is happening. We go to the bald one, Jordan Midler, VGC, who writes, Konami has said it is working on Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 2, but it's in the process of figuring out how to handle ports of the quote-unquote really big titles really in the big, series. Really big, really big. During the second episode of Konami's uh, Metal Gear production hotline series of live shows, series producer uh, Noriaki uh, Okamura uh, was asked what was happening in regards to the second part of the compilation series, which began last year with Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Quote, we had HD ports of Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3. Or sorry, not really for one, but the other two, he said. Uh, but most of the titles released after those uh, don't have a pre-existing HD port we could use. Some are in HD, but those would all be really big titles. That comes with its own set of issues. So, with all these factors to consider, with the lineup, anything along the lines of what's in it, or questions like how long will it be in development, when will it be out, it's going to be a little while until we get a clear picture, a, a clear picture. Uh, but we do know. Uh, but when we do know, we'll let you know here. Uh, we called the first one Volume 1, so we are making Volume 2. That much is for sure. Uh, we're also worried about how Volume 1 had a pretty rough launch uh, with all those issues. So we're going to do everything we can not to repeat that. But we just have to ask for everyone to give us time. End quote. Snow, Michael, Michael, you love Metal Gear. Oh, man. I'm all in on that Kojima I love joint. Metal Gear. You know that. This is, of course, the one that would have Peace Walker in it. Oh. Again. Which I can't, I just want. I just want more Peace Walker. Okay. I just want Peace Walker again on a modern system. And everybody else is obviously going to be excited for Metal Gear Solid 4, trapped on the PlayStation 3 since trapped. it came out. You know yeah. what I mean? Obviously, what are you going to do with Metal Gear Solid 5, a game, a game people really love? Is that the really big title? I think, I think, well, I think when you get in, I think 4 is a really big title, too. Yeah, okay. yeah 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the like when they're talking about how complicated yeah. reporting things is. for cell like, processor. Y you need the cell processor, Mikey, oh. to be able to run Metal Gear Solid 4. It was running on Xbox, remember they said at one point, and they got in trouble for saying that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right now, you know, they just thrown it away. Uh, this is exciting news. I guess, here's the thing about Tell it. Tell me the truth. Tell me what What a feel. fucking time to be back. Yeah. All right? You know what I mean? As a Metal Gear fan. Because legitimately, Konami, I'll level with you. You got a lot of great IP over there. I could give a flying fuck about any of them but Metal Gear. You know what I mean? Castlevania, sell it. Get it out of here. Bomberman, nobody cares. See you later. All right? They're doing more Silent Hill, right? Fine. Just make Metal Gear. Yeah. Okay? And of course, they... Screwed it up. They screwed it up pretty bad. Had a bad breakup with the creator. Tough. Made the stupid multiplayer game bear. His only his first Metal Gear of all Whoops. time. You know what I survived. mean? Survive. Yeah, survive. Yeah, we remember didn't all the that, zombies? Right? It was great. We're in a point right now where enough time has passed. Hideo's over there killing it. Konami's allowed to come back and kill it. Was the Volume 1 Master Collection perfect? Absolutely not. Was I, ha was I grinning like an idiot playing Metal Gear Solid 1? On my PlayStation 5 on an 80 inch TV, you're no, goddamn right. You I know was. you were. You're goddamn right. You know I was. you were. And then to have, of course, we have Delta now on the horizon looking gorgeous from everything we see. We got people like Jordan Midler, the bald one over there, playing it, coming back, saying this is exactly what we wanted. Dan Reichert, you know, an idiot for most parts, but right on Metal Gear most he of knows the time. Games. He said it was, oh, no, he knows Metal Gear. He said, that's great. This Mario Party obsession. What the hell? We're in such a great place. And then just to have, first off, just to have the clarity of this. We're going to do a Metal Gear Hotline live stream, oh. which you would have said, sounds like a bunch of BS, nothing will actually get answered. Then they come out and they say, hey, we're working on it. We don't have the answers. We're human beings. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, you know we want it. They know we want it. They know they got to get after it. It's exciting. And yeah, what is the package? You bring up those big three. That's got to be it, right? Those are the three that you would hit. You're not going to like skip five. No, you like, got. Oh, this we're is gotta, only I mean, gonna give you those two. I mean, if like, you want to get nuts, and, I mean, if you want it to get nuts, we yeah. who's saying you can't have a volume three? Hey, everybody, they're too big, so we had to put volume three over there, and it's going to be four and five. You know what I mean? It's going to be what I, I don't, so I don't know. So then what would two have? Just Peace Walker. I'm just saying, there's ways that we can, okay. we can do this. Let's not get in the weeds yet. Of course. Put Survive on there. Five okay. and Survive. Okay. You know what I mean? They're both <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Everything's there the exact way. Metal Gear Rising. There you go. Put yes. that out there, too. So four has to come because it was trapped on the PS3. Like yeah, and that's so the big four, one. That's the one that so many people deal. have been clamoring for. And trying Five to is a modern game which can be played on like all consoles right now. So Backwards like, compatible. Yeah, yeah, you're available to play it. But 
you know, what could they do to it? Could they, I, I mean, mean, you put on. that, you slap that in the collection. We're buying it. We're playing it. It doesn't matter. I, you can slap any of the shit in the collection. I'm buying it and playing it. You can't and me? then Peace Walker, we finally get to see. Because me and Barrett played one through four. Yeah. Very exciting. I, of course, betrayed his trust and friendship. Played five. Yeah. Now we have to see Peace Walker because I don't know what it looks like. You said that was multiplayer, right? Yeah. That's like the awesome. reason I'll never play five. God damn. It's so yeah. good. It is really good. It's correct. But here's the thing about it. And like, this is the problem of like, it won't hit as hard because you've played five, but yeah. Peace Walker was five on a portable. It was go out in little missions, do the thing, oh, Fulton okay. guys out, bring them back to your base, do all this stuff. Like, they just took all that from five and just did it again. Really? But it was like way bigger, obviously. So yeah. like, that's cool as hell. And probably badder. Yeah, it was. You know what I, I mean? Know. Hey, we're not arguing that. There was like some cool Metal Gears in there. I mean, there was a cool, me- you built your own Metal Gear in Peace Walker. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You had to keep Okay. Go- you had to so, keep running the bosses to get the memory cores to then build out your Metal Gear to do whatever and then send it off on the Outer Ops missions to yeah. kill fucking shit and bring you back shit. Awesome. Is this a test run? Of course, the collections are great, and that's the right thing to yeah. do. But, like, is this a test run to say, hey, do we still got it? Maybe the people still want it. We should try to slap a Metal Gear name on this? I, I mean, no. I think they're well aware that people want it, and that yeah. they are well aware they still got it. And so I think... Oh, that, you think they still got the chance to make a good Metal Gear Solid game? I mean... To prove to the world that Konami could bring one without Hideo Kojima. Well, I mean, that... So you're... It's a I mean, that's fascinating truth, question yeah, that yeah. I love, but I think you're thinking... You're thinking even further than they, than they are, I think. I think what they're thinking is, we put the originals out on modern consoles so people can have them, and they're there. Then we keep remaking them. So we make Metal Gear oh Solid 3, gosh. it gets all these awards, it, it's a brand new entry point, people love this, and then we go make a remake of Metal Gear Solid. We go make a remake of Metal Gear Solid 2. They, They're doing the PlayStation idea, that's yeah, a smart move. They go through and they build it that way, smart that move. way they get, a, they get around a bunch of problems, where it's like, if you do Delta right and you don't offend Kojima fans, and even Hideo Kojima can be like, hey, they did a pretty great job with it, it's nice to see it back, yada yada yada, then you, run back. you are fucking golden, keep doing that, and okay. then we're talking about the way games get, the how long games take to get made, we're a decade and a half out before Konami has to be like, all right, are we making our, a new Metal Gear? Do we need to make a new Metal Gear? Or can we just, like, we're out, we're out of remakes. Yeah. We made it, but we, what do we do now? Maybe we reboot the series, we do whatever, blah, blah, blah. This episode's brought to you by Shady Rays. Get ready for the season ahead with quality shades built to last. Our friends over at Shady Rays have you covered with premium polarized shades that won't break the bank. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company that offers an unrivaled product that's just as good as any expensive pair that we've worn. Durable frames and world-class optics for all outdoor adventures. With an extensive array of styles and colors, you're bound to find the perfect pair of Shady Rays sunglasses. Y'all know I've been outside a lot in the sun playing some Pokemon Go, and it's such a great experience wearing my Shady Rays when I'm out and about looking dope. Every pair of sunglasses is backed by lost or broken replacements. If you lose or break your pair, even on day one, they told us they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal. Head to ShadyRays.com and use code KINDAFUNNY for 50% off two or more pairs of shades. You can try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 300,000 people. ShadyRays.com, use code KINDAFUNNY for 50% off two or more pairs of shades. This episode is brought to you by Hymns. Guys, sometimes intimate moments happen spontaneously and we'll always want to be ready so we can perform in the bedroom. Hims has treatments that can help you stay hard and last longer, giving you that boost of confidence so you can be ready whenever the mood strikes. Hims is changing men's healthcare by providing access to affordable sexual health treatments all from the comfort of your couch. No insurance is needed. Pay one low price for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. Start your free online visit today at hims.com slash kindoffunny. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash kindoffunny for your personalized ED treatment options. Hims.com slash kind of funny. The products mentioned are chewable compounded products, which are not approved by or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions, details, and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. And as the big Metal Gear Solid fan, that's what you want. You would be okay with them going, well, we're gonna just going to remake the slate. I don't know if One, you know two, this three, about four, me, Snowbike Mike. Whatever. Uh, I love art. And so I am always, I would rather people leave on a high note and okay. be done with it. So in a, if you're asking me what I would want out of this stuff, and granted, I'm an idiot, you know what I mean? And I, whatever. The Delta looks awesome. That's fantastic. Blah, blah, blah. I would have said, 
I would have rebooted Metal Gear and done something else and totally paid homage to whoever the creator, producer, person I'm putting at it. I would have had made sure they are a Metal Gear fan and that, that we say over and over again how much we love Hideo Kojima. I'm here because of Hideo Kojima mm. and I'm making this game and I'm doing this thing and da-da-da-da-da. I would love that. I think when you get into remaking classics, it can get really tough. Of if you make the artistic choice to do something different than the original, is that then thrown in your face as not cool, or is it disrespectful, or worse, are you being are you playing it so straight that then I'm bored playing it because oh it looks nice but it's whatever. I am a Twin Snakes defender. I okay. liked Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. It was the reason I bought my own GameCube. I enjoyed playing it. It wasn't Metal Gear One, right? Like dropping in first person breaks the uh, Gray Fox fight because you just back yourself in a corner and go. Kew, 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 kew which was a fucking incredibly tense battle in Metal Gear Solid, right? Is you know, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Like come on. Like you know what I mean? So it's like I would have I in a perfect world which doesn't exist, I would have loved them to be like these games are great, perfect. They are sacred and we're putting them there. We won't touch them. We are going to start something new. Here's a new Metal Gear. And I, again, I'm such a weirdo. I would be like don't do Metal Gear again. I think it would be very cool to be like, "Hey, this is a franchise that we know means a lot to a different people, a lot, lot to a lot of people. We don't want to go in there and do this. But again, then you're talking to me as, you know, not his best friend, but one of his good friends. Wow. Hideo Kojima's good friends. You it's know tight. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, I also, have, I, in this whole scenario I'm running, I'm also as Konami being like, just take it. You take Metal Gear. <laughs> you do what you want. You know what I mean? Like, that's not how business works. That's how game works. So it's like, is I, I'm happy. I can't believe we are at where we're at. Because yeah. for a while there with, the breakup and then survive, you're like, holy shit, they are going to nuke this brand. They will yeah. never be able to touch this. It'll never be fun to be a Metal Gear fan again. And so even though Volume 1 wasn't what a lot of people wanted in ports, you know, as, an, as an idiot, like I talked about yesterday in this PS5 Pro conversation, right? Just playing these games again, I was excited to be back. Okay. And it, Delta it has me excited to play and be back and see what they're doing there. Uh, obviously, to see Peace Walker on a modern, plat a modern platform and go, I'm excited to do that again. Yeah. So yeah. we celebrate where we're at right now, which is great. Let's take a like win. Like you said, let's the just world, take this win. Filled with L's out there. Yeah, All right, we don't need, look at that Ubisoft stock. Filled with L's. You know what I mean? Ben's going to have to get a second job. <laughs> but it's like, I'll take this right now. Okay. Like, I, I'm happy to be a Metal Gear fan right now. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm excited for 4 and 5, of course. And then you got to see this Peace Walker game I've never seen before. That will be exciting. Peace Walker, will, uh, that'll be like, you want to talk about you, we're going to stream? We're going to stream. Okay. That is a fucking stream. You think they'll... So what was multiplayer then? For someone who doesn't know the game, is it online? Can you, me, and Barrett sit at three different stations and play yes. is it all one station one no. computer no okay. no no it's it's so the idea was of course like the whole deal is that it was you know after metal gear solid 3 it was you uh in uh miller right building your uh, hey we're gonna go off it, i mean it's metal gear solid 5 yeah we're building the Iron army a military without borders yeah, yeah. So, a minute that is sans frontier you know what i mean we're gonna build this thing so the best thing about it being portable in psp this is why and again I've only been wrong this about is on one PSP. I've only yeah, I've only been wrong about one review in my life, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And it was Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, oh, wow. which I gave a nine point five because I was a coward, had no fucking testicular fortitude. Wow. I should have given it a ten. You Step know what I mean? Up. It was one of those where I was looking, I was looking, trying. I I love Metal Gear. I'm playing this game. It's so great. What I got to figure out a way to and I could you know, so I had it. You know, I forget what I even dinged it for or whatever. Uh, anyways, though, what was so great about it is. You're recruiting people in game, same thing, Fultoning them out, doing all this different mm -hmm. stuff. But then you could be kind of what you'd see from uh, like a Monster Hunter now, which I know I'm getting into another game you don't play. Yeah, yeah. But like where you can, you're paintballing monsters or stuff. Like on the train to work, okay. I would open it up, and when I would pass a Wi-Fi hotspot, I could ping it, okay, in the thing, and it would then give me a new guy to go recruit, and so I could recruit somebody there and then put them into my army. You most of the time they're trash, but sometimes yeah, they yeah. ranked or whatever a rank. And it would build out the thing and do this. So you're building your own army, and then what it would be is that if we played together, on my screen, I'd be big boss. Yeah. On your screen, you'd be big boss. And then I'd be, on your screen, just one of the grunts who works with you. Oh, and on okay, your screen, you'd be cool. one of the grunts that works that's with cool. me. Yeah. So you talk about pinging hotspots. How would you do that now on a modern console at home where you're not on the go? How would you? You don't even need it's, it's, you just take it. Was, that it was a bonus. You just okay. fold people out and go get people that way and okay. go do it. Okay. And, and again, this isn't, Remember, Peace Walker is not trapped the way the others are. Like, Peace Walker has been on Xbox in the the other collection. It's been on PS3 on the other collection. Okay, okay. I think that's the thing, right? Chat, I'm going to need... I'm gonna, I want to you're wrong in the chat. You can do 
you couldn't. So Peace Walker is trapped on PlayStation Three because when me and Blessing did our playthrough of it, I had to do it there. But on Xbox with backwards compat, you'd just be able to use that disc. I don't. You might be able to buy it on Xbox digitally. Someone keep me honest, or maybe they've removed it. Yeah, it's one of those. It was one of those removed. weird things. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. tried to buy and it, and that's right? another. Well, like, I, is Peace Walker still on PlayStation Plus? Because that was back in the PlayStation nowadays that you and Bless played with each other, and then like what? they got rid of Metal Gear Solid Four. Like we we played through Metal Gear Solid Four, and like Peace the Walker final... is on Series X. You can play Peace Walker. Okay, okay, great. Okay. Peace Walker is trapped if you're a PlayStation player. But again, I own Peace Walker digitally from the collection, okay. so I can still play it on my PS3. It doesn't. I don't need. The cloud or whatever the thing you're talking about. Am I wrong about that? I think uh, Blessing might have played on Blessing played with PlayStation Plus. I think I played with the digital version I own. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. But maybe gotcha. I'm wrong. But I, again, that was a long, long time ago. And again, that's when Cameron Kennedy says you're right. So okay, good. Okay. So then you bring up all these, you know, getting the people back to your base. Are there iconic characters? Is it a dope campaign? Mm -hmm. Is it just like every other Metal Gear? Then it's that good. I mean, I, it's my favorite Metal Gear. Okay. And I think, I, again, the I like, uh, they do a really cool thing, again, for what they were working with, right, where the cutscenes are comic books. So it's like that oh. comic book cutscene, but it's that art style or whatever. And there's, like, okay. interaction of you can zoom in, zoom out, use x-rays, all this different stuff to get part of it. But this is where you meet Paz. This is where you meet Chico. You know these people from Metal Gear Solid Five. I know you you skipped the cutscenes, but they were there, I assure you, and they were important characters. Yeah, I just didn't like Wish Kumquat. I knew. Too slow. Yeah. Like, get right. that helicopter down here. Let's go. I got places to be. Yeah, yeah. But see, again, like, slow. this is a, a game where I think you'd, you're going to vibe with it the multiplayer way because, again, it, it is very much built like Monster Hunter. Okay. Of, like, you need to go get this thing so you're running against this boss again and again. You're running oh. to get drops off of them to get okay. the piece off of them. Okay. And that was the other thing, too, where you... The way they broke up the chapters is, like, you'd get to a... Like, the chapter would end and then the boss would come in or these tanks would come in or whatever and it would, like, ding, 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 ding. And it would, like... And that would be the end of that mission, and the next mission would be the boss battle, so that you could get your friends just to do the boss battle with you if you wanted. So you could then go back to whatever you wanted. Kind of dope. Great. All Great. right. He's All right. Exciting fantastic. stuff. Let's do it. I think everybody should probably write to Parrot IGN and tell them to change the review to a 10 mm -hmm. out of 10. You know what I mean? I don't know if we can do that. I'd like to do that. You could probably call him and ask him that. You know the guy. I do know that guy. You got connections. You think about calling him right now? Just say, hey, I got, we got to update this review. We got to re-review this game right now. We're going to talk in a second about them re-reviewing Fortnite. Fortnite is right. So, like, I mean, anything is possible at this moment. It is your review. You can update this. And that's the thing. I think. Speak your truth. I think, I, you know, they paid me for it, so they need the full thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. They let him know. Yeah, they should probably just let it be. Let's see what be. he's doing at uh, 1037. He's, 10 he's at work. He's What's at IG. going on? Pear, you're live on Twitch.tv slash games and YouTube.com uh, slash games. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I don't know what, what you just said. Those were a lot of words. What's you're live. Words? You're live. Don't don't say anything horrible. You're live on TV. That's Thanks all I'm saying. Pear, oh, okay. we're having a conversation over here about one of the greatest games of all time, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And okay. I have... I know I, I, I filed the review, but back in the day, we didn't do a review in progress. And so it's been, you know, something like 15 years now, but I'm prepared to put my final review in and up the score from a 9.5 to a 10 out of 10. <laughs> that's a long review in progress you took your time man hey man you guys just reviewed fortnite today and i and i love that you did i love that you did this is what i'm saying though we should probably look into this this is, i will write you a new one i will give you a peace walker 2024 review if you want that's a that's a really interesting idea okay uh, take it to dan stapleton let's take it to dan stapleton okay. the, the master of all reviews okay and uh, i mean we should probably call guinness book too because that's the longest review in progress i think you've even done wow. i'm thorough pair i'm thorough oh, I'm Okay. Okay. I, I think we're going to break some new ground here, and I'm excited for this. So you get to Dan. You let me know what's up, okay? Awesome. I'm so glad you called me. Oh, uh, it's always a pleasure. I miss you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Later, man. Bye. What a I nice love gentleman. that. Let's set a Patreon goal. You got to re-review Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Right. Write a here. full review. And, yeah, send it off to IGN so we can get your name on that. Here's Here's the thing. Happens. I like it. If we're gonna If we're going to call it the way it is, yeah. IGN's a bunch of cowards. We know that. Oh, so yeah. we probably have to get ready to pivot to VGC. Oh, So okay. Jordan Midler, let me review Peace Walker. Just Peace Walker, not the whole collection. Just Peace Walker for VGC. Andy Robinson, I know you're out there. Chris Scullion, you're all watching. This could be upwards of dozens of views. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker 2024 review. And I'll tell you what. No, nah, I was going to say I'll do it on PSP. Now I'll do it on PS3 so I can get some trophies. Smart, but you know what I mean? Move. I'll work on it. Yeah, he's all about the trophies. 